Hello everybody, my name is Anthony and welcome to a new Hearts Fire 4 series in a new DLC, Man the Guns as Mexico, as decided upon by the vote I had on my channel a few weeks ago. I'm not too I don't really remember when it happened. But uh, there's a bunch of uh, new features in um, Man the Guns. One of them, of course, being there is a Mexico focus tree, which is why I'm deciding to play as them. And uh, there's also this new custom rule set. I tried um, using this a little bit before. Uh, but in the recording, but the recording failed, so I saved up the preset, uh, thankfully. And as you can see, I have changed every single one of these modifiers. Nobody's going to get down their default tech tree. If you want to pause and look at all this, you can. But basically, France and Poland are going fascist, Japan's going communist, uh, the Dutch are going to try to destroy the European Union, um, Germany, Britain, I think, are going to become absolute monarchies. It's a weird situation. We'll see kind of how this all plays out. Uh, the reason I kind of didn't get to record it before is that all the counters were in the middle of the ocean. I have no idea what's happening there, but everything's fixed. We're all good. And as you can see here, we do have a fuel thing. So we have 15.5 thousand fuel. We're getting 1.3 uh, fuel a day. Um, so basically that means you can't just push your tanks forever with no supplies as you kind of could before. Like if you're watching the, um, the series as Japan, we're kind of pushing our way through the middle of the Soviet Union with uh, tanks, and of course, can't really supply tanks that well, but they don't really need fuel, so it's okay. There also, I, I feel like there probably should be like a food thing as well, because apparently you don't need to actually feed your troops either. But either way, so we are playing as uh, Mexico, uh, we are going to go down the democratic route, uh, because Kaiserreich played as a socialist. Uh, in Führerreich, as both Japan and Germany are playing as the fascist, so it makes sense kind of to play as, uh, you know, a democratic nation this time around. So select the national focus, National Bank, the plant, plant of Agapitia, and that is all we can do. Okay, well this looks like it's mostly for like military stuff. So if you go down the... Go down this one. Political stability plus 5%. Uh, our stability is terrible, and we have no support for war. That is, you know, for the most part fine at the moment. Uh, we have six ships. Um... This is a very, very different screen. Naval exercise. Yeah, naval exercises. That sounds fine. Oh, yeah, and they also got like, um. Can I create a fleet with the current selection? Okay, that's fine. I mean, it's kind of cool that they have, um, this for navies now. It's a lot better than the old system, I would say. And also, we have all of our troops. We can select all of our soldiers. There's only 21 divisions apparently at the moment, which is a little bit sad. Have you guys... Is that the, that's the president, I'm pretty sure, leading the army. That's fine. We'll put him on the border, I guess, with uh, the United States for now. And also, you know, we'll go to speed 5 because, it, you know, again, it's the very beginning of the game, so we're just trying to get things done. So we got free civilian factories. Uh, we have 8 factories in total and 3 military factories, so that's pretty bad. So we're going to go and start off with some civilian factories. Uh, you see you're at 50%. You also have a... Someone else has a 50% modifier as well. No, you have 5. Okay, so 40. And then you're a 40 as well. So I guess for then we're going to go for just a bunch of you. So with 5 factories, things are going to go pretty, pretty slowly. We're already losing fuel. We're running out of fuel in 6.3 months. Is it because we are... It's because yeah, we're doing the naval exercises. We actually don't have enough fuel to do these naval exercises. So, never mind. Do not do that. Just, uh, go to port. Okay, no. fuel. The fuel situation is fine. Somewhat. So, we'll already basically go... Also, it looks like, um... These are now Western Canada, Eastern Canada. Okay, that's that's fine. But also, see, so, you know, what is the AI doing? So France, um, I already know they're going to go um, support the right. Oppose Hitler. Limited rearmament, five-year plan. I know it's, it's still very early. The unthinkable option. So you know, right away, they're immediately going towards the communist path. So yeah, it'll be a weird situation. I don't know how 
I don't know how it's gonna work out because I don't know if all of the event trees will just kind of break and World War II will just never happen. Because one of the events don't have the, um, like a catalyst to do anything. So, yeah, it's just, um, it's, it's interesting to say the least. I mean, we'll draw a border here with the United States. I'm pretty sure we're going to be friends and allies with the United States regardless. Different ideologies. Yeah, they're democratic. We are not. But uh, we are going to start shifting that way. Yeah, so we're going to exile uh, Kalis. Who's going to give us some daily dem uh, democracy support. You also do um, support for all the lines. Ban political mil uh, You are not going to do anything. No, so we're going to exile this guy. 35 days. It's nice that actually um, these tech trees are not always only 70 days as they always used to be. Forty percent support for the PLC. Germany's already having their civil war. Fantastic. So we got the German Reich over here with Fash, uh, with um, Adolf Hitler, and then Mackensen over here, the military junta. Germany's embroiled by civil war. The sudden Weimar coup, led by famous uh, field marshal August von Mackensen, has triggered civil war in Germany early this morning. Fascist royalists and democratics alike have taken up arms against their former countrymen. Military units have been uh, removed from the borders to see into the internal threat. Well, we'll see what kind of happens here. I'm not too, too sure. Because I, ch I chose the one where they would go down the this tree. But if Germany just wins, like it, Hitler just wins, I'm not too sure what's actually going to happen. Um, my following has completely the focus, support. We're going to lose ability there. Anti-fascist raids, anti-democratic support raids. Well, we don't need to do that, actually. We can just kind of ignore that for now. We can just install the, um, the one democratic guy. Unless he's not in here anymore. Daily fascism support. So we want this guy, basically. We have to export this one guy first, which will be done like relatively soon, and uh, we might be up to 75 political power at that point. We're not training any troops. We have 151,000 manpower, which isn't a lot, and we're still like way down on production. Like, why are we even building planes? I don't understand this. I understand that we need planes, but you know, not more than we need actual like rifles. And they're not even like deployed at the moment, so. Boy, these planes. Combine them at all. And then fly up here. The pilot exercise air superiority. Port strike. Naval strike. Uh, we'll just, um... Close air support. Yeah, sure, that sounds fine. But this, this probably actually costs fuel, doesn't it? And, of course, we don't want to, um... Actually, it doesn't actually seem like it is costing fuel. Because I'm guessing they don't actually fly out until we're actually at war. That actually kind of makes sense. So we've exiled this guy. Control the army, stability goes up, or purge the bureaucracy. Cavalry, everybody's attacks goes up, and that, that sounds pretty good to me. Tensions moderate, industrial, incentivized revolution. I mean, it's got the dem uh, democratic thing here, so I'm assuming that's what we kind of want to go down. Or control the army plus five stability. Well, you know, let's get some more stability. As soon as we have the political power, we're going to uh, put that one guy in charge. We have 46 days until there's going to be a rebellion. And that seems like a bad thing. We got moderate tensions right now, politicized army, oil concessions, and a weak church. And are you guys like, you guys don't like me. So I mean, that, that's for the most part, that's pretty good. When do, uh, our next election is in June of 1940. That's like quite a while from now. 
The second London Navy Treaty has been signed. A delegation from Britain, France, Italy, Japan, and the United States have met up to renew the London Treaty. Okay, that's fine. New decisions available. We're not researching. I am stupid. I am an incredibly dumb person. Okay, then. Well, that's months of production. You know what? Let's just say that's a, that's a personal handicap on myself. We've controlled the army. You need 100? I think I only need 75. You need 150 points. Jeez, okay. Okay, repeal the law. Stability goes up. Factory output goes down. Or enforce the law. Stability goes down with factory. And, um... We go to an atheist state. We've already exiled him. So it seems to me that we need to enforce his law. State education. The Knights of Columbus. Why can't we go down this tree? It has a national focus. A sort of church, powerful church, or Catholic state. And that would be this one. This would let us get down this tree. The Knights of Columbus. We become very um Catholic, it looks like. Apparently we can do um, most of these things. Do we need both of them? Um, professional army, revolutionary women. Okay, well let's repeal the law so we can start getting our uh, democratic points going up. Something bad's gonna happen in 22 days. I mean, it looks like it's only like a negative two stability hit. That's not too, too bad, all things considered, but search power, because nationalized search lands. Assassinates uh, a traitor. Prosecute clergymen. Incite tensions. And, um. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm, I'm sure everything's going to just go swimmingly. And nothing bad could possibly happen. Yugoslavia recognizes the Soviet Union. Yugoslavia, uh, even more stoically than any other nations, has come years to refuse the recognition of the communist state. It is the Soviet Union. Okay. So what are, what are you guys doing? Elect a king. Agrarian reform. It looks like um, the junta might be winning here. But it still looks very stalemated. France is... Revolution. Look what are you guys doing right now? The Great Purge, not a big surprise. They are now slowly going communist. Change the exiles. And Italy is still slowly um, trying to beat the Ethiopians. And the Spanish Civil War has broken out. Not a huge surprise there. I mean, there's one thing that's always going to happen. It's going to be there's going to be a, a civil war in Spain. There's no way to avoid it. Yes, we've repealed that law. So now we can start going down here. We can, uh... Like, what, three ships? Six ships? Are we building boats right now? We're building convoys, which we don't actually have enough supplies to build those convoys. Well, we'll trade with the United States because we do have a land border with them, so it makes sense that they would be a natural trade partner. Earnest consumption, zero. Maximum consumption, eight. So yeah, it does make oil a lot more important than it used to be. And let us get more technologies. Research belief plus three percent. Always sounds like a good thing to me. A rebellion. More stability uh, goes down. Second... Not a Catholic state. Are we going to have a second American Civil War? There might be a second Civil War going on. Well, let's, let's rewrite the Constitution. We can modify our government to uh, increase the democratic support and plus 15% stability, so you know. 
we can at least be above 50%. So we're not taking any negative modifiers at the... Uh, yeah, we're not taking any negative modifiers at the moment, which is nice. Uh, we're going to slowly... What's the difference between you? You're three. And you are... You know, regular size. So I'm actually going to change you to, like, the, the star. Just so I know which ones are these guys. And we're going to train up just two infantry divisions at the moment. Just deploy them here. It really doesn't matter. What do you do? Configure map modes. Oh, okay, that's that's all that does. Oh, there's even there's even more map modes now. Infrastructure, population, ideology. That's kind of neat. I mean, it's nice to have it, I guess. Terrain. Oh yeah, there's also the new uh, naval terrain. The states, the supply areas, resistance, diplomacy. We're all just kind of by ourselves. But as soon as I clicked on you, it would, uh... Oh no, okay. And then there's, of course, factions. Okay, it's nice that there is a bunch of new little tech trees. Or, not tech trees. Map modes. Map modes are always nice and interesting for me. Uh, so let us get... Construction speed up faster, because we do need that. Incite tensions. Public mass. We're rewriting the constitution right now. Gives us three stability. So which one of these needs to be done for us to start a second uh, civil war? As a sp national spirit Catholic state. And has done one of those things. Well, what do we do to get to become a, a Catholic state? Yeah, well, let's go for the Knights of Columbus. 70 days, you know, it's a long focus tree, but what can you do? So let's see, it looks like the Germans are losing. I mean, the Germans are winning and losing, but it looks like the Nazis are losing there. Uh, National Spain is definitely going to win over here. Great purge. Open up the universities. Yes, they're going down all these things. And Ethiopia was finally annexed. It still took them over almost a year to get that done, but they did finish it, so good work there, Italy. I mean, there are definitely times where they just cannot... They can't even win. And it's just an embarrassment for the Italians. Site tensions. I mean, do I, need, I don't need war support right now. So let us, uh. I mean, it's pretty cheap. What do you do? War support and army experience plus 10 doesn't really do much. Otto assumes the Hungarian crown in search for a suitable king. The king of Hungary extended an invitation to Otto von Hasburg to return to the lands that are until recently ruled by his family. Otto, who's lived in exile throughout Western Europe since the end of the Great War and the dissolution of his father's empire, he chose to accept the offer. Today, amidst a uh, fanfare and celebration, he crowned king of Hungary in the ceremony in Budapest. Fantastic. Okay. So we'll see what's going to happen here. They're, they're keep trying to lower my stability because this one guy is just a jerk. So yeah, so what they're going to choose, they're going to try to reform um, Austria-Hungary. We'll see how that kind of works out, if it works out at all for them. So when, when is this folks tree going to be done? It's going to be done in about one more week. And then we'll see if I can actually uh, get through any of these trees a little bit. Okay, the Knights of Columbus is done. Uh, we will then... What do we need for this? PLC. So we don't have enough uh, support for our party yet. One research slot definitely would be useful. 
160, of course, would also be really good. Curse of Bureaucracy. Well, we'll go for this one. Uh, we're going to attend Public Mass, Reasonability. Why not? But I think it's going to be a good time to end this very first episode. So thanks for watching, and I'm sure I think this is going to go up by like 3 a.m. on Monday morning because that's when the embargo lifts. So there's definitely going to be an episode later today. So thanks for watching. Tune in for that one, and goodbye.